Hey guys, I'm Zeta Sage Plays. Welcome to Jurassic World Death Valley. I've just finished this park and I'm so excited to show it to you. We've got five sections in the park Valley of the Giants, Carnivore Country, the Avery, Main Street, and Mosasaurus Lagoon. Let's dive in and check it out. So, this is the arrival point at Jurassic World Death Valley. It's set on a ridge high above the park. So, when you come in, you can check into one of the two hotels or you can stand on the ridge and take in a view of the whole park. Probably not very health and safety conscious, <laughs> but I like the view. And what makes this park different is that there are no Jeep tours or gyrospheres. The guests get the monorail to each different section of the park, get off the monorail, and they can walk around and get up close and personal with the dinosaurs. So let's hit the monorail and check out the first area in the park, the Valley of the Giants. So the monorail takes you out of the entrance area of the park and into the Valley of the Giants. And the first habitat that we see in the park is this lake for Stegosaurus. We've got three of them there in their Lost World skin. And then it curves you around and takes you into a huge mixed habitat, which is the largest habitat in the park. This habitat contains loads of herbivores. So we've got Brachiosaurus, we've got Allura Titan, Gallimimus, a few compies knocking about and pentaceratops as well and once we get to the end of this habitat there's a monorail station where the guests can get off and walk around see the dinosaurs through viewing galleries and viewing towers like this one here and on the other side of the habitat is another one for the therizinosaurus one of my favorite dinosaurs absolutely love this one so we've got a couple of those in here and again the guests can see those from on the ground as well as up on the monorail at the monorail station we've got this courtyard here with the classic jurassic park gates and loads of decorations including some of the new update 4 decorations which i'm a big fan of and this provides a central point for the guests to walk around we've got some amenities choose which um, habitats to go to and then it's off to carnivore country so as the name would suggest carnivore country is where the park keeps the majority of its carnivores the first thing you see is these huge teeth like rocks which lead you into the main habitat of the area for everyone's favorite rexy so you get a good view of him from up on the monorail and then when you get to the station again you can get out and go and get up close and personal with him and the other carnivores that we have in this section. We've got Myungasaurus and Troodon as well, and we'll see more of those in a second. If you want to see how I built this park, by the way, then I've got a whole series on my channel where we build each habitat. I'll put a link to the first episode at the end of the video. And now we're stopping at the monorail station for Carnivore Country itself. So this street comes straight out of the monorail and we've got carnivores to the left and to the right and the street carries all the way down and takes you to the tyrannosaur let's move on and take a look at the avery you can see Castle Coatlas just taking off in the background there and we've also got the new jurassic park 3 pteranodons that are the correct size at last i built it in a loop so that there's a gap in the middle and i've put a watchtower and sort of like a walk to treatment plant just for a bit of interest in there Let's check it out. All right, so here we are at the Avery. I built this for Quetzalcoatlus, but I love these Pteranodon banners so much that I decided to add Pteranodon as well. So let's take a walk and have a look inside. Just the one viewing gallery here, they are pretty big in the Avery, and you get a really good view of the animals from here. It's pretty busy. <laughs> it's not the biggest Avery. I designed it more to look cool than uh, to be big, but you certainly get a good view of the flying reptiles in here including this guy munching away on some fish. Let's get back on the monorail and go and check out the Main Street. So on the way to Main Street, we pass through the Dreadnoughtus habitat. I put this guy you see here behind the innovation center and all the amenities because he's so big. He looks really imposing back there and you can see him from pretty much anywhere on Main Street. They look so much better in the Dominion uh, variant than they did originally i wasn't a big fan of them to start with but with that skin they look so much better and we're heading into main street now we've got some small cuter dinosaurs here like dryosaurus um, and a big space for the guests to walk down 
This is the penultimate stop on the monorail before we get to the Mosasaurus Lagoon, which is probably my favorite habitat in the park. I love it, especially with the new update for details. Let's get off the monorail and check out the main street. So here we are at the final stop before we hit the lagoon main street. So I've built this to be absolutely packed with the dinosaurs as well as all the amenities that the guests will want. We've got a fossil zone, a barbecue joint, there's the innovation center in the background. And then around here, we've got these little habitats made with the invisible gates from Dominion, which I really like so that you can see Dryosaurus here with the lagoon in the background. And then as we walk down main street, we get to the homeless cephaly habitat. And here is the homeless cephaly. Basically, it's the cutest dinosaurs. Almost like a petting zoo, but with uh, no ability to pet them in the game, sadly. <laughs> and then this all leads you down to the Pyroraptor volcano. This habitat looks really cool at night. I'm gonna take a look at the park at night at the end of the video once we've been to the lagoon. You can see one up there. Let's get into one of the viewing galleries and take a look at it. And there we go. It's the Pyroraptor climbing the volcano. Little goat here, he probably won't be here for long. I've used the rock motif again that I've used throughout the park. And yeah, just a nice little habitat for these guys. Let's get back on the monorail and check out the final stop on the tour, the lagoon. So the Mosasaurus Lagoon is probably the coolest thing in JWE2. Everyone loves it. So I worked really hard on this particular lagoon to try and make it look as interesting and different as possible with loads of different decorations. Oh, we have uh, Dimetrodon as well. <laughs> forgot about those guys yeah loads of different decorations on the lagoon even before update 4 came out uh, and lots more since then but this guy says it better than i can there is nothing quite like feeding time at our marine reptile enclosure keep an eye on our feeding timetable and join us for an absolutely breathtaking display wait for it <laughs> so cool that is uh, Death Valley during the daytime. Let's take a quick look at a few parts of it at night where it looks really, really different. We'll start off with the Pyroraptor volcano. The fire columns that I put on top of it uh, to simulate the volcano kind of feel a lot more effective at night, obviously. And I think they make a really nice backdrop for the Pyroraptor, which is one of my favorite dinosaurs in the game. And then I use the new color changing feature on the lights in the path that leads up to the T-Rex habitat to give it a red glow, kind of a Jurassic Park color and sort of the standard horror film scary color as well. So I thought that would be cool. And then in the Dimetrodon habitat, I surrounded the whole thing with the fire columns, which again looks really good at night. And they are one of my favorite dinosaurs, so I wanted to highlight them and give them as cool a habitat as possible and then finally the lagoon with the new underwater lights and loads of other decorations which looks really cool at night and that is jurassic world death valley thank you so much for watching i am gonna leave you with everyone's favorite animation in the game and another look at the mosasaurus and if you want to see how i built this park click on this video here and i'll show you thanks for watching